Yeah, it's been good. I've uh, been here obviously since the start of the season and uh, yeah, settled in. Settled back home and, and had a good start to the season. Not not so much not for myself, but uh, yeah, a good start and good to kick on there. Have you been happy with your form getting back to playing regularly considering the injuries <laughs> that you've had? Yeah, no, like yeah, the injury didn't help me pre season. Missing missing a lot of that was was hard but coming back and picking up the fitness as, as the games went on and yeah, I think uh, I think I've done okay. I've, I've scored a few and, and done a few things in games but um, played so many different positions it's it's hard to get a consistent run but it's uh, like I said when I first came here, I, I'll play wherever I'm, wherever I'm put. So. You made your return as a sub against Crew. What was that feeling like coming back on, onto the pitch at St James Park? That nah, was good, that was nice. It was a uh, uh, great uh, reception for myself and uh, yeah, I was very, very humbled by it. it was, it's, it's nice to be to be liked by your own fans and yeah, it was it was brilliant for me to, to get that first start again. Uh, and your, your first goal uh, against Morecambe, yeah. the same side that you scored your last goal against in 2009. Yeah, so I was told. Uh, what were your feelings uh, scoring from the big bank? Talk us through that. Um, yeah, it was it's obviously what, what I wanted. Was, that was my first start, my actual first start of the season and to, to, to set one up and, and score one as well myself was, was a great feeling obviously in front of the big bank. Was, done it a few times before but it was nice to do it you know, quite quite soon after coming back. And generally it's been a, a pretty strong start to the season, yeah. the first half or so. What have you made of the campaign so far? Yeah it's been, uh, like like you say, it's, it's a good start but um, it's, it's, it's just a start. It's, we need to kick on now and, and keep it keeping that top three is where we want to be. We want obviously want to be top but if we, we've got to finish the season anyway, it's, it's in the top three positions is what we want. You must be confident going into the rest of the season, judging that you know how well you can play at the first half of the season. You want to carry that through. Yeah, I think so. We've uh, we've come up against some good teams, so we, you know every team in this league is is going to be a tough game. We played uh, bottom of the league and, and lost away to them, so it's it's a league where anyone can beat anybody, and we we know we need to be on our game every game. So that's what that's what we aim to do from now on. It's just kick on from you know, Christmas period and now. Here. What's it like being back working under Tiz? Can you spot anything that he's changed his management style over the years? Or? Um, I don't, I don't think he's changed that much. He's, um, he's, a, he was always a thinker. He, he thinks through things and lets you know in fine detail what he wants from you. And, and he was like that from day one when he, when he first came in here. So he's, he's not changed too much. He's, I think that's the way he's, he's obviously always been in his managerial career. He's, he's come through and, and, and kept his own philosophy, so it's, it's good. And what comparisons can you draw from the club today compared to when, when you left in 2009? Um, <laughs> not a lot, it's, it's changed quite a lot. Obviously, you've got the 4G and things like that. It's, it's, it's obviously stepping forward, which which you need to do. You've still got this building, <laughs> this building here, but you know you need to step forward, and, and that's what it is doing is getting the new stand coming as well, the, the away ends getting and set up and it's, it's what the club you can't stand still in, in top board. you need to like I say keep taking steps forward and that's what the club's doing. Is it changes more than you more than you anticipated coming back? Do you um, think it would be just the same or do you think it would have changed a lot? No I didn't I didn't really have any uh, expectations to be honest. It was um, it was just I'm just happy to, to be back now. My family all set up back home and they're from down my wife's from down here still got my friends and family around here as well it's, it's helped me settle in even quicker but um, yeah it's just it's just good to be there and uh, with the the West Brom match coming in yeah. uh, the third round naturally people are going to draw sort of comparisons with the match against Man United which obviously saved the club um, can you paint a picture of the club sort of back then around that 2005 period anything that you can really remember from it um, it was just that, at that time it was just so needed it was, at the time, it was we needed that FA Cup run to to stay alive, really, and we were lucky enough to get to to the third round against United, and and then also get the draw up there. So it was at the time it was it was it was bad times, but obviously good times as well. Aim, Eamon had brought us all into the team. There was a lot of young lads getting chances under Eamon, and, and obviously Alex took over from from Eamon when he moved on. But it was it was just. I don't know. Now, obviously, obviously, Exeter still needs 
third round and leave the FA Cup running and things like that. But at that time, it, it just felt like it was just a big weight that, that lifted off us. We'd, we'd helped the club survive. Was it something that you could quite you thought about in, in the changing room, or was it just something that everybody knew but they didn't really talk about much? Um, well, I, I, I wouldn't say we thought about it, but it was we we not like you do now. But we went in every game, wanted to win, and we knew because we were in the conference. We we played against um, Grimsby first, and then Donny, and we we knew they were they were league teams, and we wanted to beat them, and that 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 was our giant killing against Doncaster, and then. Obviously, the luck of the draw comes out. Number sixty-four comes out. We, you, you're playing Man United away, and this, this, the city just went mental. It was, it was just mad. It was, it was everywhere, and people were phoning you, asking for you, people you're not spoken to for ages, asking for tickets. But it was just, yeah, it was just a, a good time and a great time to save the club. It was, it was definitely needed. Then. Are there any similarities between that squad that you had back then and, and today? Um. I don't same characters in the dressing room, perhaps. Nah, the the characters back then, we were Flacky and Devines and Gal Sheldons and things like that. They were, they were unique, I think. You see Flacky. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't think anyone could explain it. I don't think he could explain himself. But you you got players like that. We had a, a great squad then. We got a great squad now. And fingers crossed, we can go into this third round and get the win. Looking at League Two, uh, do you think the the quality of it has improved? Is it a much harder league now? I think so. I think every every league's improved. There's, there's obviously players that have filtered down, and the young lads coming through as well that are getting getting chances like Hiram and, and Crowley and, and players like that have, have come from Premier League teams to play for Exeter City. It's it's obviously down to tears and the, the draw that Exeter plays in good football. Excuse me, and uh, it's just obviously. Good players, young players, are wanting to get out on loan now and want to play from, from big clubs. Are going on loan to to League Two, to League to League One, and I think the the quality of the play is has changed massively.